another thing. I, I believe the guys fishing are from the boat because it would be too rude to just walk over there and fish next to a boat that is aground now. Yeah. And it's going to be very costly to probably pull it back out. I don't know how. What well, would you bring a tug in there or just yeah, yank it out? Sea tow is pull A sea tow? What's a sea tow? It's a towing company that's out in the ocean. It's a boat? It's a boat. <laughs> it's like a tow truck, in the ocean. but it's a boat. Okay. And then the gall of the people to bring their camp chairs down there and sit and watch this poor thing. You sure they're not just, you know, out watching the sunrise and they just happen to be... Well, you just put it by the boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're watching this chaos. At least it's some entertainment. I'm going on. We need to get Hank's take on this because <laughs> he's down by there. I mean, we're fascinated, clearly, yeah. Hank. What what's do you going think on happened? in Ocean City? Well, listen, guys, again, always, Labor Day, never a better day to be in Ocean City. And one of the key reasons is just like any other day, you never know what exactly might wash up on the old beach. Now, this sailboat down here, I don't know exactly what make and model, washed up on the beach, guys, at about 345 this morning, according to the pilot. And he may have been the only one on board. What he told me is that he purchased this boat a day or two ago in Queens. Yes, one of the five boroughs of New York City and was sailing at home to the Chesapeake. Bay Area, what happened is the autopilot failed. Now, I don't know for sure, uh, but in talking to this guy, he was one of the others. He was either foolish enough to give this a try or an experienced sailor. He seemed like more of the latter. He had the autopilot fail. He was upset. He's well, uh, he's, he's clear in the knowledge that the boat is probably going to be here all day. The keel is dug into the sand right there, guys, which means, yes, the high tide's got to come back tonight. Uh, the boat did get beached at about high tide. Uh, uh, but it's going to come back in tonight. It may be as much as a foot higher, according to the man in the boat, at which point they may have a towboat to pull it out. They may have a lanyard hooked to the top of the mast in order to ride it to get the keel out. But that keel planted in the sand, that's a whole deal. Listen, guys, it's always a surprise in Ocean City. Head of the Chamber of Commerce, Michelle Gillian, she and I have been here stumped on the boat. When's the last time a boat came up on the beach here? Uh, what, two I, weeks? Yeah, a, a month? Uh, last year, for sure, there was one <laughs> visiting us. I think everyone just wants to come to Ocean City, so they have all their ships coming this way, whether well, it's small or large. Sure, and if there's no place at the marina, just bring her up on the shore. Yes. Um, no one but Mike, Alex, by the way, no one fishing by that boat is the man who was on it. No one's quite that casual about <laughs> beaching.